This is a pre-recorded lesson for my students, especially for those who are having the modular learning type of delivery. This is for you, so you better download this video while your connection to the internet is stable enough for you to do so. Good day, this is Teacher F and welcome to my virtual science class. In this video, we are going to talk about absorbability as one of the properties of matter. Now if you're ready, let's begin! Students like you always wash hands to avoid the transfer of germs that may lead to sickness. It is important to make sure that your hands are clean and dry before and after doing an activity such as eating and playing. You dry your hands using a tissue or a hand towel. These are things absorbs the water from your hands. What are the other materials that can absorb liquid? And what happens to the materials after absorption? There are things that people usually use in the kitchen and in the bathroom that can absorb liquid. Examples of these are rugs, towels, and sponges. These materials possess a physical property called absorbability. It is the ability of a material to take in something through small narrow spaces or pores. Rugs and towels are mostly made of cotton that are good for absorption of liquid. These things draw moisture through direct contact. There are times that water simply blots on the fabric. Sometimes there is a need of a rubbing motion for faster absorption. Absorptive fabrics are hydrophilic. Hydro means water and philic means loving. These fabrics attract water. Natural fibers are good examples of absorptive fabrics. Fibers from cotton, silk, wool, mostly made from animal or plants, are considered to be natural. Some fabrics are not natural. Some are scientifically made. They are called as man-made or synthetic fabrics. Examples of these are polyester, rayon, and spandex. These materials absorb less moisture. Paper has the ability to distribute liquid evenly. It can take in an even amount of water until it reaches its absorbency capacity. It is the maximum amount of liquid that a material can absorb. Paper starts to tear up once the amount of water that it is trying to hold exceeds its capacity. Hard materials like glass and metals are not as absorbent as fabrics and paper. Natural materials like wood are more absorbent than synthetic materials and metals. Wood have the ability to draw in liquid through its vascular system structure. Remember that wood came from living plants which need water in order to survive. It is not all the time that we need a material to be absorbent materials. Wax and paints serves as a special layer of coating to help prevent wood from absorbing liquids to avoid decay and metal to prevent rust. Natural sponges from the deep sea are more absorbent than artificial sponges. However, these natural sponges have limited source. Artificial sponges are now used for washing dishes, cars, use of cosmetics, and many others. Absorptive materials may change their shape, color, and weight after absorption. Some colored fabrics appear to have a darker color when wet. Sponges expand once the liquid was taken in its pores. Cotton shirts become heavier after absorbing once sweat. However, these materials will go back to its original properties once the liquid dries out.
And that ends our lesson for this episode. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to type them in the comment section below and I'll be answering those as soon as I can. And please answer our short quiz for this episode. Just click the link on the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon for notifications. Once again, I'm Teacher F and I hope that you had a great virtual learning experience.